There's no military access from Wales. But of course, people. Oh yeah, you're demanding 100? Oh, whatever. Wait, you've captured all of that? Really? Good for you. Northumbria still being useless. You're still running around, so I need to assassinate you. I need to... Oh no, you're mine. I need to assassinate you. Yeah, that's right. But every time you run around means that you're not doing bad stuff to me. Plus 60 relations with Westphalia, because we're still allied and you're still not dead. Congratulations. Right, Astrid. What do you, wish of me? you are my... Which one are you? You're my English... Yeah, you're my English priest. Yeah, spread religion is a constant effect. So the rate of conversion in this town, in this province rather, should have increased. Yeah, it's up to 4.9. Characters giving two, regional developments giving two. So we are going to have you inspire populace, which will also increase public relations here. Likewise with you, so we should be fixing a lot of stuff by doing that actually. Meanwhile, you! need to take that town back, but I could have some reinforcements Move in place. Battle! Yeah, you need to take that. And we're stuck in Chester. Again. Except now I can't attack Chester, because Chester's been nuked once too often. Oh no, it's because I'm double timing. That's why. Right, escape. sack it. Again. less and less money out of it. Still getting experience though. <laughs> um, now where's the battle movement? There. And campaign movement. We definitely want campaign movement. Right. You get out of that area, please. And go that way. So I can't quite reach Lincoln this time. This is cutting this very, very short. What if we fail this? Does this just remain? Oh, that would be really frustrating. Ready for orders. One, two, three. I really hope that counts as England. I'm pretty sure Bamberg's in England. Yeah, that's the border. Wait, what was it? One, two, three, four. So Lincoln should be the last one. Can I double time on you? No, I can. Get moving. On the move, lads. You. Lay Let waste. Cower before us. 700 against 1500. We have three ladders. Should be enough. Let's do this. Oh, I said I was going to go until 11. Well, I guess we'll do this and then the next siege. Well, we'll, we'll do the next turn because I really want to take over Lincoln and finish this quest before I forget and do something stupid next session. Because I am totally that stupid sometimes. And it would be even better if this actually counted. Um, I'm trying to think of what big cities are on the border with Wales. Like Gloucester, I think, is one of them. But this sounds properly Welsh. Dry. Yeah, that means we can burn stuff. Marvellous. So if we go in here, destroy that, then we can get up here. And there are no other turrets near me. Burn that one, and then this one's in the way. In fact, that is a terrible location, because both of those will be shooting at you. Get that one, this one will shoot you as you walk through. So yeah, this is the only real option. Right. Let's bring you two back here. Drop those, because I actually need you to shoot at stuff. Uh, flaming shots. And the rest of you can just stand by. Oh, we have a spare, cool. Right then. Advance to that, if you would. The enemy draws near! Yeah, 
who are range of their archers. We're going to take a lot of casualties here. Not much I can do about that. Except shoot. Open fire! And thankfully it's not raining, so these towers will actually go down pretty easily. And we're soaking up all the damage with our archers from their archers, which is good. Means our guys should have an easier job when they're attacking, but we are taking a lot of casualties. Lost but 60 men already. I hope you don't try and break and run. Got oh, down to 5 morale already. Yikes. One down. They Our should recover though. Running for their lives. Come on. Just that one. Go for that one. He recovered. Go for that one. And the enemy archers are down to half ammunition already, which means they won't be shooting at us when we try and get up the ladders. The tower has been destroyed. This bodes well. See you, Galad. Good to have you here. Hope you join us next week. We're both shooting at this. You should both be shooting at that. Yeah, you are. Good. <clears throat> And remember, if you do miss one of these Twitch streams, I do tend to upload these uh, videos to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash mordredviking. I play all kinds of strategy games there. So alongside these Attila videos, you will also find European of Asalis, XCOM 2, and... Oh yeah, Prophecy of Pendor, Mountain Blade mod, of which I was a developer. Was? Am. Am a developer. Come on, burn this tower down. The archers out of ammo. Yeah, they are. Good stuff. My archers are not. We apparently carry more ammunition than they do. Despite them being in a city. Right, that's that done. Regular arrows. Shoot at them. Enemy tower is no more than wreckage now. So I'm going for their axemen because I think that my axemen will fare better against their spearmen. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use my formation against them. Why is your door open? Odd. So I'm just using up what little ammo I had left. Just see if I can take a couple of them with me. In fact, I may as well start these guys advancing. So, a unit's ammunition is spent, and it can no longer fire. One there. No, wait. Not you. Stop. Send in the axeman. One there. One there. One there. Oh, there. No, not there. There. Thank you. And there. And there. No, there. There you go. Oh, yeah, Spearman can go over here. And the general as well. Okay, that'll do. Archers are now out of ammo, so they can pull back. Their job is done. Well done. And now the ladders just need to be pulled up, and we start the laddery bit. But no one should be shooting at us while we advance, which is nice. No chance of our ladders being burnt down either. We've destroyed both of the towers there, and we've absorbed enough damage to mean their archers can't shoot at us. Okay. 
now we just need to wait until we get close enough. And hopefully they're not just crashing into each other with the ladders, which they kind of are down here. Oh well. Where is my general? You're there. Okay. Right then, chop chop. Definitely glad I'm watching this bit at maximum speed. Be a bit slow otherwise. This is of course to give enemy archers time to shoot at you. If they had any ammo. Which they don't. Because I did my preparations right. Yay me. So I don't think you can tell them to go into shield wall while they're advancing up a ladder. No, I didn't think so. Door's still open, but usually the door just slams shut as soon as you get near. So it's not just a little trick. Okay, and we are now scaling the walls. Captain Obvious strikes again. Hopefully we have better morale than they do. Right, two of our armies are, two of our regiments are up. Three, four, five, six. And this is one of the downsides of these sieges, is you, the enemy always builds so many ladders because they're quite cheap and you get many of them per slot. I think you get three ladders per group. And I built four groups? Yeah, I think so. So it's really hard to defend against a wide assault like this. <coughs> so we're just going to advance through here. These guys are already up and fighting, so I can't put them into formation. You form a formation there, please. And then we can go after the... Oh, they've got some skirmishers shooting. They've sent in their archers into close combat. Our general's just about to arrive. We shout at them. Yeah, you... No, you can't. Never mind. Alright, advance. Okay, I think this siege is more or less over. Like I said, it's really hard to defend against this wide attack. As soon as the enemy inf uh, melee units are close, then game over. I actually find the little sieges where you're defending a town like this much easier, because they can't bring siege engines. So there's usually just one or two entrances rather than an entire flank. In fact, this is harder to defend than, say, that, where you've got a choke point. Alright, let's go and kill them. Are they all going to break? You may as well charge into that. We have captured the gates. You two Enemy troops have reached the them. walls. And we've kind of got them trapped here, so they're not going to pull us towards any towers. means our own casualties will be very limited. We're basically just a whole bunch of archers, but after that we haven't lost too much. One small unit of archers are holding, but not for long. Likewise with those skirmishers. The enemy is attacking our general. Yeah, they left the door open so they could get out. They saw the Vikings coming and were like, they're not going to come in here. I mean, that, that would just be too obvious. They want to use their ladders. I mean, they just spent a whole season building them. We'll just leave the door open so we can get out of here when when this fight is over. Come on, this should have ended. Uh, no, we, we went... Well, don't tell me there's another unit up here, because that would just be super annoying. Don't go that way, go that way. Really? Oh, they put a barricade there. Destroy the barricade, then! I have lots of angry, hairy men with axes who happen to be supremely good at killing barricades. And barricades really need to be made tougher. They fall way too quickly. Too easy to destroy. They used to be even easier. It took about two seconds. I'm still playing on maximum speed here. 
Okay, they apparently have toughened barricades up. Good. Because they needed to be. They're still through. What's left? I'm sure I killed their general. At least there was a guy with a star. I thought. Maybe not. No, really, what is left? Um, well, take that then. Except I'm going to be suffering hideous losses now because I'm so bunched up. Oh, there they are. What's your morale? 64. No, you'd last a while. And actually, you guys go and charge them. Form up there. Shield walls. Meanwhile, my spearmen can go and kill that. Okay, we killed the tower. Oh, like that there. You and you. There. Lots of narrow front shield walls coming in. A victory point is almost we'll be within our ground. Easily able to loop around and then hit them from the back. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Charge. Charge. Keep going. <laughs> ah, screw it. Charge. <laughs> and charge. The general has been killed. And charge. Excellent. There we go. Victory. This is your day. We lost 300, they lost 600. They put up a bit better defence. Okay, Mathrafal. You are going to be looted and occupied. Thirsty for battle. Burn it. And give me money too. Ready for orders. Right. And Olaf leveled up. Now we're starting to get some more integrity. Yay! Yay. So we are gonna get more integrity because I still don't quite trust them. And campaign movement. Because we have been struggling with that. Right. I think yeah, they did take London. We have a non-aggression against them, that's annoying. Well, we'll definitely take Lincoln, we'll probably take these eventually, we'll just keep kind of burning our way through. Ready for battle. Right, you may as well double time and march over in that direction. You have further orders? So we definitely need to take Lincoln still. For right, Red Ron. It is time to take that Thirsty town. Okay, the stream is definitely going to be longer than I expected. Yeah, in some ways, but also grow. 1,500 versus 1,900. They have catapults, but so do we. This is not a walled town. It's actually a fairly equal battle. Particularly when you fa factor in the towers. Although they're easy enough to destroy with the catapults. They have definitely got more of a range advantage than I do. But I have got myself some cavalry. And this is the king. Versus a level 1 general. It's dry, that sounds good to me. Right. Where is the weak point? Here. Yeah, because yeah, I can get into there, destroying only that one around the back here. 
Uh, stick my archers here, my honor goes back here. Like so. You lot. Formation there. You lot. Formation there. Oh, I guess you could shoot me as I'm going up. Well, that's annoying. I need to destroy both of those. So, in fact, Donica can destroy these. Yeah, that'll do. Cavalry. And the general. And the herdman, which I'd forgotten about. Also, information. There. Good. Um, pause. Don't open fire. Don't open fire. Do, however, use fire. Now, with you. Regular shots, I think, are more accurate than flaming. Oh, I think I need to use flames against buildings anyway. Destroy! Open fire! I want this place to and you should usually select your ammo before you press start battle. Because they usually start with... Um, Catapults cocked and ready. <laughs> One shotted! Nice! Right, so we're going to use regular. Let's see. 100 and 100. These guys are not armoured. No, flaming is even more armoured. Really? Why would you. What? Base reload 34, base reload 51. I'm, I'm, I'm okay waiting, unless these are more accurate. Not really. No, use flaming on that. Fire. You and you. Come on, chop chop. Yeah, that's an annoying spot. Oh well. I oh, just love watching these things fire. Blood. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Oh, we're going to burn some of the town down. Uh, I don't actually want you to burn this town down, because it's mine. Um, use regular shots, please. <clears throat> All I want you to do is destroy some of the defences so I can get in more easily. I'm shooting at that. Yeah, yes. Come on. Thank you. Nice. Right, speed this up. You can fire it well. Hold your fire and then fire it well. Perfect. Right, I'm going to use my archers entirely as intended, because that should be burning now. Yeah, it is. And actually just shoot them to pieces. Much like my artillery is currently doing. With its 102 kills. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Good news. Unfortunately, you're out of ammo, but that was amazing. Now, one little tip with artillery is tell them to abandon their war machines and then withdraw. And that way you won't lose the uh, crew. Oh, their artillery shooting at me. So that's a good thing I'm sending my skirmishers out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess the uh, Onagers have grenades instead of flaming ammo. They, they just call it flaming ammo. These being the Rod Redron people. What are they called? Redron Slayers, that was it. Hang on, no. These aren't red. No, this is the king. This isn't Redron. This is. Yeah, it is Redron. Yeah, of course. The uh, the low integrity people are Matroni. Yeah, sorry, I'm being silly. Fire. And make it rain arrows, or some other cliche like that. 
Oh, you got another group just next to them. That's nice. You're still running? Yeah, good. I totally forgot that the king was in charge of Red Run Slayers. That's that's cool. Alright, that's the honor gone. Come on. Shooty shooty, twang twang, flack flack. Oh, my horsemen don't have the armor and sword upgrades. I need to make sure they get that. Are you guys actually killing anything? Base damage 28. Base damage. Yeah, see, base damage of heavy shot is. Oh no, it's 32. 28. It's also 32. Reload 20. Oh, they have a bonus against infantry? Okay, use a heavy shot then. I did not notice they had a bonus against infantry before. So in fact it does a lot more. Huh. Good to know. Now I see why you were saying that I should be using heavier ammunition against them. So it's like the flame shots has a bonus against cavalry. I don't think I've ever used whistling shot. Ever. I guess it's good to like make groups of enemies retreat because they're minus 10 morale. I'd rather just kill them. I guess whistling shot are good in sieges. Break units, smash into them with infantry waves and then you sallying out. Whoa. Whoa, 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 no. Back up. Oh, now they're running. Now shoot them in the back. <laughs> this is going to be devastating. That was not nearly as devastating as I was hoping. Okay, you're getting a couple of kills now, but still not good enough. Get some more. Come on. Chop chop. It was a surprising amount of ammo. <coughs> Wait, my archers have a hundred health? Wow. No, everyone does. Except cavalry who have more. Interesting. Alright, shoot at them. How far away are we? We need to start advancing. Wait, I wasn't even going to go that way, I was going to go this way. In fact, there are generals up there. I'm going to send you two this way. My general, 175, the general has disappeared. And their archers. Ah! A unit's ammunition is spent, and it can no longer fire. Oh, you're out of ammo. Back off, then. That far. And you're out of ammo as well. Cool. In that case, don't run away anymore. You lot. To there, if you would. And you lot. To there. You two off there. Horseman to there. Okay.
We have killed... What? We've only killed 300. We've lost just over our 100. I thought we'd done more damage than that. Apparently not. Here come their archers, but that's like the worst possible angle. Wait, those onagers didn't shoot? Oh, those archers, never mind. Our troops are being ambushed! Select archers? They've been leveled up. Still only level one, though. That's fine. It's going to be one hell of a fight for this area, though. Unfortunately, that's going to be in range. Not much I can do about it, though. Meanwhile, my actual armoured soldiers are coming up this flank. And you lot will basically just need to wait until there's a breakthrough. In fact, no you don't, you can just break through here. Right. Onwards. Particularly you guys go here. Looks like there was a barricade there, but it's now dead. Collateral damage at the uh, fire. Oh, their archers are so exposed. You guys are doing a marvellous job. Good. Yeah, you've seen the danger, the but it's too late for you. Units. Oh, don't stop. As soon as they move, I'm going to hit pause, and then I'm going to do all their chargey stuff. I don't... Are you guys advancing? Yeah, you're fine. Right, now they're moving. Charge! 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 Run like the wind! And charge. I forgot about the horsemen. Whoops. <laughs> That's just a mass break. We'll all march to here, I think. Looks like a good spot to stop at, I think. Why have you stopped? Stop stopping! Ah! Keeps on happening. You have a timed charging bonus, so stop stopping. Oh, nice counter charge. Didn't get us all. In fact, now you're running away. Yeah, not even close to being... Don't stop! And crossfire from those two towers. Well, we knew that this would be a more bloody battle than the last couple we've had, but we've still completely thrashed them. This axe unit in particular has just gone squish. Uh, yeah. Um, no, this isn't even our super elite army, except for the general who is kind of super elite, but still. What are you doing? We have gained the upper hand! refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Still a massacre. Okay, 
Good. Victory. More or less. We should be there in just a second. And this is a siege, so we don't need to end it. Um, back away from that. Have we killed their... No, we haven't killed their general. Oh, I forgot about their general. I have my own general over here. Arr. It's fine. He won't last long. Uh, actually, you guys go up there. You continue the advance. You brace. Yes. What's your charge bonus? 24. Go there. Ah! Don't use my king very often, but I think this is a worthy cause. Of course, it means he can get a bit of experience. And yeah, please feel free to step away from the towers. Just saying. There we go. We lost 500, they lost 1200. That'll do me. Well done, people. Let's see, you got 102 kills, you got 161, not bad. 200, 100, yeah, our axemen won us that one. Archers didn't do too badly either. Get this. It's my town, okay? Mine. Not yours, but mine. Nice try. Thirsty for battle. 